At the local uh, Yamaguchi Museum, um, there are some industrial robots and uh, kids can uh, tell the robot what to um, draw. And the robots um, very uh, speedily and adeptly uh, bring out um, uh, marbles, uh, small marbles, which another uh, sort of spider-like robot then uh, very speedily arranges to the um, instructions on the um, computer here and it's putting them on a sort of a kind of go board very quickly even though that they were poured out at a pretty random order you can see where they are and it um, puts them into the places directed by the um, uh, computer screen here and then it cleans up the unused marbles and the other its partner robot it really looks like that they're um, intentional it makes you feel that they really are thinking about it it's ready with the next um, cup of marbles which it will tip into the tray there and uh, allow the uh, spider robot to uh, make the pattern, complete the pattern according to the design isn't that amazing? Uh, they're made by Fanuk which I've never heard before but apparently um, most of the robots in the world are made in Japan and so I presume it's a Japanese company possibly even a uh, Yamaguchi company I shall ask the guy at the uh, counter where Fanuk is from Sumimasen, ano Fanuk to you kaisha wa Yamaguchi no kaisha desu ka? Doko? Nihon? Nihon no kaisha Ha, ha, ha. Wakayama Prefecture, or Mie Prefecture apparently, these uh, robots are from. Um, and this robot over on, the, the, the same kind of thing, industrial robots. Um, uh, they will put together a, uh, a wooden, wooden robot, a wooden toy robot, according to the um, instructions that the children give it. So it's going to first of all put on its hand, which it's just done, and then pick up the parts over here, the smiley face, the green torso, and the blue feet, and um, put together a robot, uh, even though they aren't quite, um, you know, they're arranged in non-digital formation. Uh, it's going to first of all get the torso here, and put on the arms and legs, and... Um, head that my um, daughter chose. She chose it and she's not even bothering to have a look. But you see here she's chosen the smiley head and the blue feet. Uh, it's from the feet up and so it goes and gets the feet and um, inserts them into the... Wow, isn't that cool? Inserts them into the torso. Wow! Uh, in such a way as to uh, ensure that they um, don't fall off. Very carefully. And uh, in an analog fashion, I presume, because the legs aren't exactly in the in the perfect places. You know, they're slightly off kilter there, but it doesn't matter because these uh, robots can see and cooperate with each other. And here they are, uh, the same robots um, making a car in a um, nearby factory, presumably the Mat Matsuda factory in Horfu, and there they are working together. And uh, this is what the uh, Japanese mind can do, because uh, whilst uh, the Japanese can't make theories, they can think in uh, visual and three-dimensional um, imagineering. Imagineering, is a, uh, the word comes from America, but the fact, uh, the, the actual imagineering is done in Japan. Isn't that brilliant? And then I think it takes it apart again. Um, if it's required to do so. Uh, so uh, the Japanese are the best Im Imagineers in the world and uh, yeah, they, they waved the robot and uh, showed off their stuff. And now they're going to take it apart again. Isn't that cool, eh, they're saying? 